Hello everyone, welcome back. This morning we are uh, sowing cover crop. The uh, gray clouds are indication there's supposed to be some rain on the way, so we got that uh, mold and disked, got disked last night. So uh, here's what we're using for uh, cover crop. We are using rye, uh, 50 pounds rye. We're putting about 50 pounds to an acre. It's uh, we're using that. We're also mixing the landowners or the landlords here wanted uh, a legume in it too. So hang on a second. Let me get that bag over here. So they wanted a legume mixed in, 30%. So what we're doing is uh, white clover and uh, we'll put 50 pounds a hit and uh, 400 pounds of rye on uh, uh, about, about eight acres. So we'll uh, get that covered but that's what we're doing uh, some of our fields we won't cover crop uh, some we do and uh, we'll talk more about that in the upcoming video and I've talked about it before but uh, there's there's reasons for that so uh, but this uh, come up pretty good or tore up pretty good last night As you can see, it chopped up pretty well. And uh, my farm partner, he's out there on the, he's gone right now. To, yeah, I see him out there. He's uh, getting ready to go. But you can see it came up pretty good. Tore up pretty well. And uh, what we'll do, we'll uh, We'll get that seed broadcast, and once we get done broadcasting the seed, then I'll take the New Holland and the disc and uh, lightly incorporate it in. And then hopefully we'll get some rain tonight, and that'll kind of seed it. But you can see, uh, stalks are chopped up pretty good. Uh, they're okay it's the section we use corn picker on and it cuts the stalk just cuts it off at the bottom so uh, it didn't really get chopped up with the bush hog uh, here's a strip that was left out of course it cut right up um, and over here is some that we actually bush hogged down if I can get over here to it that uh, you can see the stalks they're not chopped up a lot but they're they're chopped up enough that they'll start breaking down and then of course we'll more board plow them but this section was uh, bush hogged and you can see the stalks are a little different but uh, it's a uh, It's ready to go. So what we'll do, we'll take you guys along and uh, uh, we'll take you guys along and show you as we work this in. Now on this farm, uh, me and another gentleman lease this farm. He leases portions of it, we lease part of it. Uh, there is a potential for next year for us to possibly get some farm ground close to this farm, which would make it very nice uh there is a there is that potential so uh, uh and you know i really like this farm this is uh, uh probably of all the farms we lease my favorite it's easy to work it's good ground and uh 
it's relatively handy to our other locations but uh, so if you guys will hang on we'll take you along i'm gonna get this new hauling started and let it be warming up i know i've talked about this before but uh on our disc the way we adjust the aggressiveness of it these gains the straighter they are the milder its cut's going to be and what what we do pull this pin and move the center back or forth this stays the same and that puts more pitch to the cutting blades which makes it cut more so uh, when we're incorporating this seed we want to put it in shallow we won't let the disc run all the way down we'll hold it up a little and set it pretty mild we'll have them running both pretty straight uh, that's the way we adjust our, our disc to uh, to make everything run properly so uh, we'll get them adjusted up here and uh, he's uh, he's finishing up the squash patch if you see the corn picker there's three strips right up there and we'll try to get some video of them that was the squash so anyhow we'll uh, we've greased the new holland and checked the fluids in it and uh, we're ready to go so uh, We'll get started here in just a second. Okay, so this was a squash patch. You can see we put a strip here, left the strip out, strip there, left the strip out, and strip up there. Uh, contour tillage, basically. Uh, it's got quite a bit of slope to it, but you can get by with it. Now what I'm gonna do, like I said, all I wanna do is basically just rake this seed in. Now, a this is not the best implement for this, but it's what I've got, and that's what we're gonna be using. A drag harrow or something like that, just to rake it in would be better. A drill to put the seed in would be ideal, but we have neither. So we're gonna use this. But what I'm gonna do is pull this pin, slide this back, and straighten these out as straight as I can get them. You can see they got a little bit of a pitch this way. So let's, uh, let's get that done. You can see it don't move them a lot, but it makes a big difference in the tillage. So let's uh, let's see what we can do with it.
Okay, as you can see, or I hope you can see, we have got this field and the three, the squash fields, uh, cover cropped. So, uh, second pass over it with the disc, really chopped it on up quite a bit more. Uh, you can just tell by looking at it that it's, that it's chopped it up quite a bit more. And like I said, I just went over it, single cut it. Uh, in other words, when I made a pass here, it's where I started. So I was cutting the width of the disc every pass. Uh, key is I didn't want to over till it and put the seed in too deep. Um, getting late in the year and I really want that stuff to germinate. Of course, we're they're calling for rain. If you can uh, pay attention to weather forecasters, which sometimes is a uh, crap shoot. But uh, they're calling for rain today and tomorrow. And then temperatures next week supposed to be pretty warm. So hopefully it'll germinate, get a good stand before we get into the cold of the winter. Now, so we've got seven or eight acres of the approximately 20 uh, cover cropped. We've got one more field that's a five acre field and then we'll start in on the smaller one, two, three acre fields uh, scattered all around. But uh, try to get the big ones done as quickly as we can. And if we get to a point where the smaller ones we don't get cover cropped, we will go ahead and more board plow them this fall. Uh, and we'll talk about that when time comes up. But anyhow, if, uh, if you like, what we're doing please subscribe hit that notification bell so you'll know when we put up a video uh, try to get them on a pretty regular basis but I work 40 hours and I farm 40 hours and we get the videos when we can uh, but uh, see a video you have a question or a comment about please do so if you like the video hit that little like button uh, and uh, thanks for watching thanks for taking the time out of your busy day to see what we're doing we're just trying to, uh, once again, uh, tell the story of a small part-time farmer here in the hills of western North Carolina. So, uh, thanks again for watching. Have a good day. Bye.